Who can say it's very good general speech recognition. But if you do not sound as most of people, it will not understand you. No one's ever collected large data sets of people whose speech is hard for others to understand. People who have multiple sclerosis for GF, who had stroke, who stutter. They're not used in training the speech recognition models. I mean, the game is, is to record things. What's the temperature today? And then have it recognize things that you say that aren't in the training I set. Dimitri recorded 15,000 phrases. It wasn't obvious that this was going to work. He just sat there and he kept recording. We need to make all voice interactive devices be able to understand any person who speaks to them. You can see that it's possible to make a speech recognizer to work for Dimitri. It should be possible to make it work for many people, even people who can't speak because they've lost the ability to speak. The work that Shenxing has done on, you know, voice utterances from sounds alone, you can communicate. But there might be other ways of communicating. Most people with ALS end up using an on-screen keyboard and having to type each individual letter with their eyes. For me, communicating is slow. Steve might crack a joke, and it's related to something that happened you know, a few minutes ago. The idea is to create a tool so that Steve yes. can train machine learning models himself no. to understand his facial expressions. <laughs> to be able to laugh, to be able to cheer, to be able to boo. Things that seem maybe superfluous, but actually are so core to being human. I still think this is only the tip of the iceberg. We're not even scratching the surface yet of what is possible. If we can get speech recognizers to work with small numbers of people, we'll learn lessons which we can then combine to build something that really works for everyone. To understand and be understood is absolutely unbelievable.